Hello, everyone, and welcome to CVCA live streams coverage of Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy Royals Hockey. The calendar has turned to a new year, and the holiday tournaments are behind us, and it's time to look ahead to the second half of the season and the run to the Baron Cup next month in February. But tonight, it's back to Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League action as CVCA hosts the Parma Redmen from from the Dan Costal Rec Center in Garfield Heights, Ohio. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tim Nichols, and as always, it's a pleasure to have you with us. As a reminder, you can follow CVCA Livestream social media contacts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram by looking for our social media handle at CVCA Livestream. The winter break is just about over, and it's back to school in the morning. But at first, it's an important Blue North Divisional matchup between the Royals and the Redmen. Both teams hosted holiday tournaments over the break, and both Parma and CVCA took third place in their respective tournaments. The Redmen defeated Mayfield 8-1 on December 26th, but lost to Red Division foe Avon on December 27th, 8-1. And then they salvaged a third-place finish in the Redmen Holiday Tournament with a 4-2 victory over Avon Lake on Wednesday. Here at the Garfield Heights Rec Center in the CVCA Christmas Tournament, the Royals opened and closed with a pair of wins, 7-0 and 7-2, in a rematch against Twinsburg in between CVCA fell just short against Normandy, losing 5-3 on Tuesday night. And the Royals lost to eventual tournament champions Toledo-Whitmer by a score of 4-2 on Wednesday. The Redmen have been off to a hot start in the first half of the 2021-22 season and come into tonight's contest with a record of 13 wins, just three losses and zero ties. Parma is 6-2 in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Blue North with losses only to Normandy and to Cleveland Heights. Longtime head coach Joe Gaudino recently recorded his 250th win, and he's got a number of reasons to be excited about this year's squad. Captain Ryan Myers, a senior number two, is a scoring machine, having recorded 24 goals and 21 assists already this year before the ball dropped on New Year's Eve, ushering in the new year and the second half of the season. But just as dangerous for the Redmen is number 19, Ryan Ignacio, and the Royals will have to keep close tabs in both of them. Ignacio has 22 goals already this season, along with seven assists entering tonight's game. The other double-digit scorer for the Redmen is number 16, Caleb Borowski. Borowski's lit the lamp 13 times already this season to go along with nine assists. And in goal, netminder Andrew Segeic has a 2.81 goals against average and three shutouts. The Panthers have had their own interesting week. And that is actually a reference uh, to the Whitmer Panthers from the coverage the other day. Apologies for that. But uh, it has been an interesting week. And so for CVCA, the Royals have been a bit inconsistent. The Royals played well enough to be competitive against the upper echelon teams in the Blue North. But they've yet to break through of the Royals' six losses. They've lost to Normandy three times already including in Tuesday's game, which they gave up a 3-1 lead midway through the contest. They also lost a tight contest to Cleveland Heights earlier in the season, and they dropped a 4-3 decision on December 12th against these Redmen at the Reese Ice Arena in Parma. The Royals have had chances to break through, and they'll get another one tonight. CVCA will have to get more consistent play out of their first line. Jack Lamline leads the Royals in goals with 10 goals in 12 games played and Nick Comfrey also leads the Royals in total points with 8 goals and 10 assists but both players have 24 penalty minutes apiece and in the two middle games of the CVCA Christmas tournament this week the Royals took 9 minor penalties in each game and it'd have to be much more consistent and disciplined on the ice to give themselves a chance when they aren't it puts a lot of pressure on the back end of the Royals defense and freshman Caleb Mosher has developed into the lead goaltender for CVCA this season. He sports a 5-4 and four record with an 89% save percentage and a 3.0 goals against average. He's doing enough to keep CVCA in games, but to win, the Royals will need to play smarter. They'll have to stay out of the box, and they'll have to put pressure on the Redmen. Speaking of pressure, that's exactly what CVCA did the last time these two teams met. In the third and decisive period on December 12th in Parma, the Royals outshot the Redmen by a 24-5 margin. They did score two empty net goals in the final 1 minute and 36 seconds of the contest, but it wasn't enough to dig out of a 4-1 deficit 
The Redmen skated off with a 4-3 victory on that afternoon up in Parma about three weeks ago. All time in the series, the Redmen lead between the two schools. Parma has 11 wins against CVCA. It's just six losses, and there has been one tie between the two schools since 2000 when record-keeping began. The Redmen have won four straight over CVCA over the course of the last three years. The last CVCA win was the thrilling 2-1 Barron Cup 3 final on February 10, 2019 that gave the Royals their second Barron Cup in school history. The Redmen are coached by longtime coach Joe Gaudino. He's assisted by Rich Barron and Tim Hollow and David Higginbotham, coach Gaudino. Coached his 500th game behind the Parma bench in late December. Earlier in the month against CVCA, he picked up his 250th win as a head coach of the Redmen. So the Redmen, longtime coaching staff and should be well served behind the bench tonight. The Royals... Head coach is Doug Fairchild. Coach Fairchild in his 14th year on the CVCA bench, and he's assisted by Rich Hurdle, Mark Brower, and Jonathan Beckett. So both teams getting ready for uh, Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Blue North Division, a key contest tonight as we start out the new year on a Sunday night with Sunday Night Hockey from the Dan Costo Rec Center. Once again, my name's Tim Nichols. Glad you found us tonight and uh, look forward to a great hockey game. And once again, if you're looking for more information about upcoming CVCA games in the course of January and early February, you can always check out the CVCA Athletic website as well as the CVCA Athletic social media destinations on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Of course, we've got the CVCA live stream social media sites as well. You can find out information about upcoming live streams at CVCA live stream. That's the handle, at CVCA live stream. And you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. One minute left on the clock in the pregame as the clock is winding down toward Sunday Night Hockey in Northeast Ohio. The Royals skating off to the right-hand side tonight. The home bench here at the Dan Costo Rec Center on the right-hand side. The visiting bench on the bench on the left-hand side as we look down upon the arena. Nice turnout of fans from Parma. Over to our left. And the Royals to our right. Referee blows the whistle, and we're just about ready to get underway. The Parma net is clear. The Royals still pounding pucks into the net, and they'll clear them out of there as both teams get their final instructions from Coach Gaudino and Coach Fairchild, respectively, for Parma and CVCA. Fifteen minutes up on the clock as the Royals head over to their end line to get ready for the announcements of the starting lineups. For CVCA, all healthy with just one scratch expected. That scratch, Noah Chidima, who's been out with a an upper body injury since the Cleveland Heights game earlier in December. For the Redmen, Nicholas Higginbotham out tonight with a lower body injury and uh, expected to miss the rest of their season for the Redmen. Public address announcer Chuck Parada making the announcements, welcoming the fans to the Dan Costell Rec Center, which has been the home of the CBCA Royals for the last two seasons. The Royals finding the Garfield Heights Dan Costell Rec Center as a home last year at the start of the pandemic when the Kent State University Ice Arena closed down a week before the regular season was set to begin. And so uh, 
with the hospitality shown to the CDCA program a year ago. The Royals have stayed here at Garfield Heights for a second consecutive year after skating out of the Kent State University Ice Arena on the campus of Kent State University in prior years. Jim Rice and Tom Stuber announced as the officials for tonight's contest. Goaltender Andrew Segeic in goal for the Redmen tonight. Also starting senior captain Ryan Myers, number two. Andrew Barron gets a start and forward. Allison Callahan starts at left wing for the Redmen. The junior. Number four, Victoria Wessel starts on defense for Parma. She's also a junior and rounding out the starting lineup for the Redmen is number eight. Number 16, Caleb Borowski. For the Royals in goal. Number 45, freshman Caleb Mosher. Jack Lamline, the, the senior, starts at center for CVCA. Junior Nick Humphrey, first year player for CVCA, entered into the program and CVCA after a couple of years at a different school. Starts up front. The captain, Luke Parada, the senior, also at forward. Zach Nichols, the junior, gets to start on defense. And rounding out the starting lineup for CVCA junior, Mark Mosher. The rest of the Royals join their teammates at the blue line. The Red Men starters at their blue line. The reserves on the bench with Coach Gaudino. And we all pause now to honor America with the playing of our national anthem. The anthem complete and just about ready to get started here from the Dan Costo Rec Center on a sunny night. Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League action in the Blue North Division. CVCA, the home team, hosting the Parma Redmen. Last words of advice and encouragement for both sides. And ready to get ready. We're ready to get underway. The Royals wearing their home uniforms, the black bottoms with royal blue piping on the bottoms, white jerseys with the CBCA crest on the front of it, royal blue numerals and royal blue helmets. They'll skate right to left on the screen tonight as you watch the action. The red men, the visitors, in all red, red bottoms, red tops, black numerals outlined in white. And gray helmets for the Redmen. 13 and 3 is Parma Royals enter the contest. Six wins and seven losses. The Redmen 6 and 2 in the Blue North. The Royals 2 and 4. 
two teams once again, their second meeting of the season. Redmond victorious on December 12th by a 4-3 score. Andrew Sagayek and Caleb Mosher ready to go in goal for the two schools. Zach Nichols gets a... has an equipment issue, and so he's off the ice. And, and jumping in the starting lineup is Josh Petschke for CBCA. So they drop the puck down, and we're underway. The puck is pushed into the defensive zone. We're on it is Caleb Borowski, who skates up into the offensive zone for the Redmen. Into the corner he goes, pressured by Mark Mosher. Behind the goal, he gets it to Barron. He, Barron fights it, is battled by Mosher. Mosher kicks it. It goes loose behind the net, and Barron comes up with it. Pushes it around the board to take the bounce to CBCA's Luke Parada, who outlet passes to Jack Lambline. He dumps it in, and it's knocked down and pushed out by the Redmen by Andrew Barron. Now pushed back in and out to get it is Borowski. Borowski on the near side boards, gets it out of the zone. Mosher cleans it up, fires it in on goal on the first save of the day for Andrew Sagayek. Puck is put in on Sagayek again and covered. Shot in there by Nick Humphrey, and the first stoppage of the game happens at 14.09 of the first period. We look to the far side. Off goes the two defensemen for CBCA. Royal second line comes in. Eli Parada and Carter Martin on defense. Caden Ballard towards Steigmeier. And David Siff out there. Siff has it on the far side boards. Heads down into the corner, collects the puck, tries to center, goes behind the net to Steigmeier. Far side, looking for Siff. He overskates it, and out comes the Redmen. Pushing it out of the zone is number 19, Raven Ignacio, who sends it all the way down the ice for an icing, where the puck will be retrieved, and an offensive zone faceoff will ensue for CVCA. Royals with another full line change. Face off to the left of Sagayak. It's controlled by the Redmen. They skate behind their own net and try and build out. With it is Ignacio. Ignacio falls down and takes out a teammate. That teammate is Kyle Phillips. The puck trickles into the zone. Cross ice pass up to Schwartzbeck. Schwartzbeck falls down but still finds a teammate, Joy. Joy tries to outlet. It gets knocked down and falls back to a teammate. That is Martin, I believe. Royals get it out. Joy. Banks it off the boards, looking for Schwartzbeck. He can't catch up to it. It comes back out to Eli Parada. Parada near center ice, has it, cross ice pass to Schwartzbeck. He's onside, and he's met by Kyle Phillips. Now with the puck, Borowski quickly into the offensive zone for the Redmen. Into the corner, skates and stops. Tries to center. It's pushed aside by Morgan Joy for CVCA. Shot is knocked down, headed toward the goal of Mosher, and then trickles into the corner where Carter Martin is after it and pushes it around the far side boards and finds Jared Outward. Outward now will skate out through the neutral zone and dumps it in on Sagaic. It pops up and to the left-hand side, and Royals get a change. Intercepting is Schwartzbeck and dumps it back in deep, and chasing after it is Caleb Borowski. Borowski lost it to center ice for the Royals pick it up, and into the offensive zone onside comes CBCA's Nick Humphrey. Humphrey has it, fires, rebound shot. It stopped a second time. Luke Parada was on it, so two good saves by Sagaic. Into the far side corner. Ignacio and Parada come together. The puck trickles to the near side, and out with it comes the Redmen. Borowski has it deflected. It comes in, and Mosher kicks it aside. Now he decides better of it and jumps on it in case anything more dangerous were to happen. He stops that as he had Ryan Myers, the 24-goal scorer for the Parma Redmen, barreling in on him with a head of steam. And so face-off will happen to Mosher's right. They drop the puck down, it's centered, and then the two teams battle for it. It trickles up and out of the zone. Pushed in, delayed offside against the Redmen. Caleb Mosher has it, and Zach Nichols, whatever the issue was in the first uh, opening faceoff, gets out for his first shift. He pushes it up and turns it over. It's pushed back in where Mosher collects it for CVCA, heads behind his net, has some pressure, and has to skate away. Mosher gets it up to Lambline, who pushes it to a teammate off the boards, back to Lambline through the center ice. Lamline onside, takes a shot. Sagaya kicks it aside for a save. Luke Parada has it, and a penalty is up coming. Slashing will be the call, and Jack Lamline will go into the box for CBCA. 
In the open, we talked about the Royals hurting themselves by taking penalties. They take another one right there. And for Lamline, that puts him in the team lead with 26 penalty minutes. The Redmen will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 3 minutes and 22 seconds. Jack Lamline in the box for the Royals for slashing. So the Royals will defend. Myers heads into the face-off dot to the left of Caleb Mosher. It's one back to CBCA's Carter Martin, who circles and sends it down the ice for a clearance. Sagayak comes out of his net and leaves it for a teammate. And that teammate is Ignacio. Ignacio with speed through the neutral zone into the offensive zone. Still has it on his stick. Skates all the way to the goal. Centers. And it goes through the crease area. With it is Myers on the near side boards. Puts it up top to the slot. To the right point. Borowski back down low to Myers. Back up to Borowski who sends it in. It's kicked aside and rebounds. Still loose. Second shot is knocked down by Mosher. It comes back up to Borowski again. He fires wide of the net. And around the boards it comes and knocked out by CBCA's David Siff. Siff in a rush and a battle. Pushes it forward, but back to get it is Myers with a minute 15 to go on the penalty time to Jack Lamline. Myers with speed, gets it out of the zone, through the neutral zone, and, and pushes it in deep. Parada, Eli that is, chases him into the corner where Myers sets up. Sends it behind the net, gets it back to himself, and pushes it to the near side boards. He's still on it, and he takes the body. Gets it up to Borowski. Borowski fires. It's kicked down in front. Second shot is fanned on, but it comes to number 11, who sends it wide. That's Phillips. Still controlling with 48 seconds. Back to the right point. Borowski. Down low to Myers. Behind the, board, behind the goal line. A centering pass is knocked down, and the Royals clear it all the way down the ice. Sagayak will come out to play it once again and push it up to Victoria Wessel. 32 seconds left on the penalty time. Up ice it comes. Phillips sends it across ice, and it's knocked out again by CBCA with 21 seconds to go. Down the ice, and Mark Mosher is on it as the Redmen were not on side, but they are now. It's kept in as it goes around the boards by Myers. Cross ice pass with nine seconds to go. Sent down low. It goes behind the net. Still a few seconds left on the power play. Up in the high slot, Wessel shoots. First shot is knocked away. Penalty time is up, and it's sent up the ice. Tipped in by... Lamline coming out of the box, and he skates in on Sagayak, who covers, and a stoppage ensues with 9.31 to go in the first period. No score so far. The Royals killing the first penalty of the afternoon, or the evening, that is, and CBCA will be back up to even strength. Face off in the Royals' offensive zone now to the left of Andrew Sagayak. Lamline steps into the dot. They drop it down. And the Redmen come out with it. Parma dumps it in. Off the stick of Kyle Phillips into the corner. Phillips will give battle. Lamline comes in. It squirts out and controlled by CVCA. Royals skate out with it. Luke Parada into the offensive zone. Pushed to the far side. Being pestered by Timothy Hollow. Parada still has it. And Hollow... Comes up with it, but now it works back to Parada, who will skate with it and leave it for his brother, Eli. Eli dumps it in low. Nick Humphrey's there, so is Jack Landline. But out with it comes the Redmen. One on three. Now a second one on the stick of Ignacio, who gets into the, the circle but gets dispossessed. And out to collect it is Landline, who sends it around the boards. But keeping it in, keeping it in is Myers. Myers sends it wide into the near side corner. The Royals collect it, but not for long. A shot right on the edge of the goal crease, and it's pushed aside by Mosher, and a little pushing and shoving in front of freshman Caleb Mosher. No harm, no foul, and a face-off will ensue to the left side of Mosher with 8.32 to go, first period action. Redman nothing, Royals nothing. Taking the draw is Myers for... Parman, he wins it back to Borowski, who sends it wide of Mosher's goal in the corner. Jared Outward chips at it, and it's pushed further by Morgan Joy, who falls down and dug out there by Barron. Barron back to Myers, back to Barron once again. It's poked at and poked away. Barron loses it, and Schwartzbeck has it for the minute, for the moment, rather, and it goes to Outward, who skates into the offensive zone. Outward skated off the puck by Myers, who dispossesses him, sends it across ice, and finds a teammate. That's Hollow. Hollow pushes it forward, looking for Barron. 
He can't catch up with it. Mark Mosher has it and sends it up. In the Royals control and out with it. They come two on two, three on two now if they hurry. Nice play by Whistle. Wessel, rather, she pokes the puck away and the other direction come the Redmen. Myers has it on his stick. Shot on Mosher is wide of the goal. Near side corner, chipped up, and CBCA clears the zone. Stumped back in off sides, though, by Borowski, and now chipped up and out by CBCA. With some speed through the center ice area, Borowski comes in, shot, fires, drops down on Mosher. Borowski chips at it, but Mosher made sure he covered it up, and a stoppage at 7-16 of the first period. A nice chance that time for the Redmen, looking to take a 1-0 lead. But Caleb Mosher jumped down on that puck and made sure the score remained scoreless through the first seven minutes and 44 seconds of the period. 7.16 to go. Face off to the left of Mosher. Dumped inside of the corner. Around the board to sent by Martin, but intercepted. And a centering pass hits the side of the net. CBCA pushes it up the boards. Cord Steigmeier circles back. Steigmeier, Steigmeier that is, loses it behind the net. But the Royals dig it out, and up ice it comes. Unable to control is David Siff. Wessel meets Siff at the center ice area, and Wessel and Siff still battle. Siff pushes it aside, finds a teammate. It's sent in just for a moment, but intercepted, and that interception was made by Phillips. Phillips pushed it in, but Steigmeier was there to collect it, and he heads back up for CBCA. Through the neutral zone he goes. Waits, falls down, hands it to Ballard, and it ends up underneath the bottom of Cord Steigmeier, whose backside was offside. And so offside's the call on CBCA. The faceoff will be outside their offensive zone with 6.29 to go here in period number one. Royals first line back out there. They're watching hockey from the Dan Costell Rec Center, and CBCA wins the draw and pushes it in on Sagayek. With Nick Humphrey coming in, as well as Raven Ignacio, Sagayek decide to cover it and keep it covered, and so the faceoff will be in the Royals' offensive zone with 6.25 to go. It's dropped down to one back to the Redmen. Wessel pushes it back on the, near, on the far side boards, up to Myers. Cross ice pass off the boards, and he finds Allison Callahan, who skates in. Callahan centers it. And it's intercepted in front by Mosher. Good chance if Mosher hadn't been there. Mark Mosher, that is, in front of his brother Caleb. And the Royals push it down where it's collected by Ignacio. Ignacio up to Callahan. Cross-ice pass. Looking for Barron. Can't find Barron too far for him. And it's pushed back to Mark Mosher. Mosher. Cross-ice to Zach Nichols. But he can't control. A shot is wide by Myers. And it comes to the Royals. They're two on two into the offensive zone. Humphrey gets pushed aside on the far side boards. Luke Parada tries to get it over to Lamline. He can't get it to it, though, and he, it's knocked out by Parma. The Royals push it in and get offside, uh, get onside, rather, that is. So it comes to the near side boards with a little bit of time, but it's intercepted or pushed aside by Luke Parada. With it is Ignacio. Ignacio skates the other direction. It's tapped at, and Ignacio has to retreat back and get it behind the net. He sees Lamline there and has to avoid him. Ignacio still trying to get out with it and finally leaves it, and it's uh, still actually not out. The Royals with a delayed penalty, or delayed offside, rather, that is. Check that, a delayed penalty. It's going to be a, a power play against CBCA, and they might get two. So the Redmen are going to go on the power play once again. And the question is, are they going to have one or two off for the Royals? As Morgan Joy was in there with a trip toward the end as well. Time of the penalty will be 10 minutes and 3 seconds. And into the box goes Jack Lamline. So Lamline takes his second penalty of the first period. And the Royals go on the penalty kill once again. Faceoff is won back to the corner by CBCA. It's dumped up to... Caden Ballard, and he tumps it out to David Siff. Siff one-on-one -on -one now with Borowski. Evades him. Now he's got a breakaway chance. Shoots, and he scores! A shorthanded goal by David Siff for CBCA. His sixth of the season, and the Royals score first. 
It's one nothing CVCA. Here it is again. Sif has it, and he evades the one defender back for the Redmen. Comes in on Sagayak and puts it on the far side into the back of the net. one nothing Royals. Still a minute 42 to go on the penalty time. The assist on, assist on Sif's goal to number 32, Caden Ballard. Minute 30 to go, though, on the penalty time for Lamline. So in the offensive zone, the Redmen continue the power play. Up top to the corner, Borowski sends it in. It ricochets to Caleb Mosher, who makes the stop with a minute 23 to go on the penalty, penalty to Jack Lamline. So once again, Sif from Ballard, the scoring on the shorthanded goal for the Royals. Faceoff will be to the left of Mosher, and Myers will take it for the Redmen. Cord Steigmark, check that, Luke Parada across from him for the Royals. It's dropped down and won by Parma, cross-ice pass and a quick shot. Rebound is loose and kicked aside by Zach Nichols. Nick Humphrey chases after it for CVCA in the corner. Humphrey digs it out, and he's going to send it down for the clearance with a minute and 10 seconds to go on the penalty time. 4.03 to go in the first period. Royals leading 1-0. Cross-ice pass deflected and into the stick of Zach Nichols, who sends it down the ice once again. It's knocked down at center ice and so brought back in onside. Myers has it. Myers shoots, and it's chipped up and over into the netting off the stick of Mark Mosher. And so a stoppage with 53 seconds to go in the penalty time to Jack Lamline. 3.49 to go, first period. Face off to the right of Mosher. It's dropped down and one back to Borowski. Fired and scores. Power play goal for the Parma Redmen. With 3.45 to go in the first period, the Redmen draw even. And so a shorthanded goal and a power play goal. Off that penalty, and we stand at one to one. So the goal scored by Caleb Borowski, his 14th of the season. Ryan Myers gets the assist, his 22nd assist of the season for the Redmen. One to one the score, time at goal, 11 minutes and 15 seconds of the first period. Now back underway, Sif, the goal scorer for CBCA, passes to Caden Ballard. It goes wide of Segeic goal into the far side, and Michael Otto collects. Otto, dispossessed by Ballard, who skates and into another couple of Redmen, gets a centering pass, backhanded attempt by Steigmeier. A second shot goes just wide of the goal. Steigmeier still on it. Guarded by Borowski. Steigmeier wraparound chance is pushed aside. They're still batting at it. And the player is falling and the whistle blowing. And a stoppage occurring with 2.57 to go here in period number one. One to one. David Siff for the Royals. Caleb Borowski for Parma. The goal scores. 2.57 to go. Period number one. Face off will be to the left of Sagayak, who actually is working on his helmet for the moment. Sagayak has three shutouts so far this season out of the 13 victories for the Redmen. Puts the helmet back on and the glove as well. And he's ready to go is the junior goaltender for the Parma Redmen. Lamline skates in. Wins the puck back to the right point. Eli Parada sends it down low to Luke, his brother, but it's intercepted. And out with it come the Redmen. But Lamline back on it with some speed. Pushes it forward for Nick Humphrey and he dumps it back in on Sagayak's goal. Sagayak Pushes over to Victoria Wessel. Turnover, but collected back and out of play. And, oh, a big hit on number 17, Timothy Hollow. And a shot on Sagayak. It's pushed, knocked down before it gets to him, well before, and dumped down the ice. And an icing call on the Redmen. Royals one, Redmen one. Sunday night hockey from the Dan Costell Rec Center.
Royals leading in shots on goal, 10 to 6 so far. And Morgan Joy will take the draw for CBC. It's one back to the Redmen. They dump it off the boards, and it's picked up by Myers. Myers has it, the senior captain. Pushes it up ice, and he finds Callahan. Callahan with a shot, ricochets to Myers, and he sends it wide of the goal. Dumps it back to the near side where Callahan will chase Carter Martin, chasing her. Myers gets it back, though, as they change spots up to the point. Wessel. Wessel dumps it in. It's deflected wide by Carter Martin. And chasing after it is outward for CVCA. He outlets to Schwartzbeck, who's out of the zone. Schwartzbeck pushes it forward, but pushed off the puck. And Callahan had it for a moment. Evades a CVCA defender. Can't gain the zone. Check that. It's not Callahan. It was number 19, Ignacio. Morgan Joy came out with it, tried to center. Comes back and skates to get it again. But intercepting it for a moment and pushing it forward is number 9, Barron. And in the offensive zone, it stays. Myers back to Barron. It's poked up, but not out. Shot toward the goal of Mosher, and it almost found its way. Myers has it. Wraparound chance comes out in front again. Another nice chance. And finally pushed up and out of the zone by CBCA. Minute 12 to go on the clock. Nice pressure by the Redmen the last minute or so. And they send it in deep. Carter Martin will chase it for CBCA. He's going to have pressure from Myers in just a moment. Sends it around the boards. And it's picked up by Lamline. Lamline. I checked that. It's, it is Jack Lamline. Skates off the boards and behind the goal line and icing the call for against rather CBCA. 50 seconds to go. Period number one. Royals one. Redmen one. They bring the puck back down into the Royals' defensive zone. Myers will take it for the Redmen. Lamline with a quick note to Mark Mosher, his teammate, and he steps in. And it's one back to Borowski, who sends it wide of the goal of Mosher. Nick Humphrey will collect. And Nick, he's dispossessed by Myers, who sends it back in, and a glove save pushed aside by Mosher. Kept in at the point by Ignacio. He sends it down low where it comes to Zach Nichols, and Nichols just chips it out to center ice with 28 seconds to go. Where Caleb Borowski has it. Borowski sends it in deep. They wave off icing, so Mark Mosher will have it. Mosher, with pressure from Myers, sends it up, not out. Back to Mosher, and this time he gets it up and out, looking for Nick Humphrey. Humphrey will have to dig it out. Tries to into the offensive zone for Parma. It goes, but the whistle blows, indicating an offsides call against the Redmen with 10 seconds left on the clock in the first period. 10 seconds left and a penalty to CVCA's Zach Nichols. He goes into the box for two minutes. And another power play for the Redmen. So the third penalty of the first period for CVCA. Interference the call against Nichols, and so the Royals will have to defend the power play once again. First shot is knocked down with a stick right on the goal of Mosher. Three seconds left, and a long shot is kicked aside by Sagayek. It would have counted had it gone. And so we go to the end of the first period. The Royals will have to defend a power play or a penalty kill again as we start the second. Three first period penalties for CVCA. So the trend of taking penalties again has continued for the Royals. It cost them with the second one, resulting in a power play goal for the Parma Redmen. Well, we've gone to the end of the first period. Royals won, Redmen won, and as we do... We thank you for joining us, and we'll pause for this moment from Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. What is excellence? Excellence is a battle cry that you were made for more than this in a world that is so satisfied with just okay. It's striving for greatness not only when there is a prize or recognition to be won, but in the still and quiet with only an audience of one. It's going above and beyond for others in service because our God has gone above and beyond all that we could have asked or imagined in his pursuit of us. 
It's diving into studies and academic pursuits, believing that the Lord has fashioned our minds out of the dust of the earth to understand and master complex concepts and the deep mysteries of the universe. It's preparation, not only for college or a career, but a life recklessly abandoning the ordinary and believing that the God who moves mountains lives inside you and will use you to turn the world upside down for His glory. A school defined by excellence is so much more than a building and classrooms. It is a defining culture, a strong imprint on a student's life in the way they will learn and grow. It is a life-altering encounter that surrounds them with people and experiences that shape who they will become. It is the foundation that they will take with them wherever they go. It is what they will see in their rearview mirrors as guideposts, showing them the way forward and propelling them to excel still more. In our lives, in our homes, in our families, in our communities to go out and impact the world that God so loved. To shine a light on the darkest and most broken places, to be the salt to those who have lost their flavor, to bring love and healing as the hands and feet that we are called to be. We are CBCA, and we are called to excel still more. We're at the first intermission here from the Dan Costo Rec Center. Tim Nichols along with you. You're watching CBCA live streams coverage of Royals hockey on a Sunday night. The score at the end of the first intermission, Royals won and the Parma Redmen won. Uh, you've just heard from the teachers of Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. And uh, if you have an interest in your son or daughter, your grandson or your granddaughter attending CBCA in the 2022-2023 school year, Please note there will be an open house at CBCA on January the 28th of this month. And then following that, opportunities for entrance exams on February the 5th and March 5th. For more information on CBCA for your potential student, you can visit the cbcaroyals.org website. Click on the admissions menu and uh, you can sign up for both the upcoming open house at CBCA on January 28th as well as opportunities for those entrance exams on February 5th and also a second opportunity again on March the 5th. An active first period, a pair of goals in that first period. The first one scored by the Royals. David Siff for CBCA got a puck at center ice and had one man to beat, evaded that man and got a breakaway goal against Andrew Sagayek. At 10 minutes and 16 seconds of the first period, it was 1-0 CVCA, a shorthanded goal for Siff, assist to Caden Ballard. The lead was short-lived. 59 seconds later at 11 minutes and 15 seconds of the first period, a power play goal scored by number 16 for Parma, Caleb Borowski, the junior, picked up his 14th goal of the season, assist to Ryan Myers, the captain, his 22nd assist of the season, and the Redmen drew even at 1-1. to -one. The Royals had three minor penalties in that first period, just none for Parma. And in the penalty box at the end of the period was Zach Nichols, who took an interference penalty. He was 10 seconds left. So once we resume action in the second period, the Royals will be on the penalty kill for the third time tonight. So far, the Redmen one for two on the power play. We mentioned before that the uh, last week was uh, featured a host of tournaments here in Northeast Ohio, holiday tournaments. Of course, CBCA with its holiday tournament right here at the Dan Costell Rec Center. That tournament ran from Monday through Thursday, the 27th through the 30th of December. It featured Normandy and CBC out of the Blue North Division, the Twinsburg Tigers in the Blue South, and the Toledo Whitmer Panthers from the Northwest Hockey Conference White Division out of the Toledo area. And eight games, four days, and the champion of the tournament was those Whitmer Panthers. So what a week they had. The week opened with Normandy and Whitmer in the afternoon game on Monday at 4.30. And that game was won by the Invaders, 8-5. to five. Vinny Incurvaya was in goal for Normandy, a surprise starter. 
as we learned that the starting goaltender and the backup, Zach and Sam Waite, brothers, both quarantined for Normandy. And so Inker Baya stood between the pipes for the first time in his career. And after a shaky first period, kind of put things together and his offense backed him up. And they did all week until that final game. The Invaders won 8-5. to five. The Royals won the nightcap on Monday night, 7-0 against Twinsburg. On Tuesday, Whitmer took care of Twinsburg 6-2 in the morning, and then they headed back west for an outdoor game as part of the Toledo Winterfest festivities at Fifth Third Field in Toledo, home of the Toledo Mud Hens, and uh, they dropped a non-league contest to Lake High School, which was actually a divisional opponent for them, but it didn't count in their Northwest Hockey League divisional standings. That score is 5-3. So the total mileage at that point in the week had been about close to 300, rather 250 miles or so for the Panthers and a 1-2 and two record. They went to bed and came back to Northeast Ohio. And uh, on Wednesday, Normandy played Twinsburg in the morning and won 9-2. That's after the game the night before. The Invaders won a hard-fought contest against CVCA 5-3. The Royals actually had a 3-1 lead in that Tuesday night contest before Logan George for the Normandy Invaders had a hat trick all on his own in the second half of the second period, putting the Invaders up 4-3. They ended up with an empty net goal to make the final margin 5-3. The Invaders, two wins in two days. We mentioned again that Whitmer came all the way back and uh, faced CVCA the next night on Wednesday night and uh, won that game. That game was a battle to see who would be in the championship against Normandy. Panthers built a... 3-0 lead and survived the Royals' flurry in the third period to win 4-2 and advance to the final. So on Thursday, CVCA was matched up again with Twinsburg in the third place game, won that 7-2. And Whitmer and Normandy had a rematch of Monday's contest. At that point, the Invaders an unbeaten 10-0 on the season. But the Panthers unfazed and uh, took it to the Invaders a... 2-2 two two hockey game at the end of two changed when the Panthers got two third period goals and went up 4-2. to two. The Invaders got one back with three minutes to go but could not get the final equalizer and empty netter the difference and Whitmer went away with the CBCA Christmas Tournament Championship for the final score of 5-3 to three on Thursday. Parma had their own tournament, the Redmen Holiday Tournament and that tournament was one in which the Redmen took home third place in their home tournament as well. Looking forward for CVCA, the Royals home tonight, obviously, in a Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League matchup, and they've got three big games coming up next weekend. On Friday night at 7.30, the Royals skate at Cleveland Heights. Heights has only been defeated one time, a 1-0 overtime loss to Chagrin Falls earlier in December. So I believe they have at least nine wins against that one overtime loss. Saturday... The Royals are at home here, and we get our first look at Canfield on the season. Uh, that contest faces off, and they'll drop the puck at 5 o'clock, and we'll have it for you here on the CBCA Athletic Boosters YouTube page with another CBCA live stream production next Saturday, January 8th, 5 o'clock. On Sunday, the Royals on the road again with our first look at Chagrin Falls. Chagrin Falls a bit down this week, uh, this year rather, but not so far down they couldn't beat Cleveland Heights. That great one nothing victory. Our assumption is that Nathaniel Newton was in goal, the freshman for Chagrin Falls, and uh, a nice game by him with the shutout of Cleveland Heights. And so uh, the Royals will have their hands full with Chagrin Falls next Sunday, that game at 520. Two weeks from now, the Royals and Parma will meet up once again in the opening round of the Parma Martin Luther King Tournament at Reese Ice Arena. The Royals scheduled to play Parma Stowe and the St. Edward Green team in that tournament on January 15th through 17th. And with that, we've reached the end of the first intermission. Getting ready for second period action here at... Uh, the Dan Costell Rec Center. And the second period will begin once again with the Royals down a man with Zach Nichols in the box. He heads there now to serve out the remaining one minute and 50 seconds of his penalty time. He's in the box for an interference call that occurred with 10 seconds to go in the first period. Once again, first period goals. David Siff for the Royals shorthanded. And Caleb Borowski on the power play for 
the Invaders. Reminder, you can follow CVCA live stream information on social media by searching for the at CVCA live stream handle on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. By following those links, you'll be able to find the updated links for upcoming games. The next one again next week, Saturday, against Canfield, the Cardinals. But here, plenty of hockey to go. Royal skating left to right in period number two. Redmond right to left on the power play as we start, and they drop the puck down. It's pushed into the offensive zone by the Redmond, uh, by the uh, Royals rather. A shorthanded chance by a sharp angle for a lamb line. It's pushed aside by Sagayak, and the Redmond start out on the power play. Lamb line back checking and sweeps it away, but not out. It's knocked in by Myers. Myers into the corner. We'll have pressure from Mosher. Myers circles. Mosher still pressuring. Myers digs it out. Centering pass is knocked down. And a breakaway chance for Jack Lamline. Here he goes. Lamline with pressure. Can't get a shot off. And it's pushed aside. Tries to center. And uh, no one there for the Royals. So nice back checking by Parma to avoid a potential second shorthanded opportunity for CVCA. Into the corner, Josh Petschke. Petschke tries to push it up, but has it taken away by Myers. He's into the corner. One minute to go on the Zach Nichols power play. Or rather, the Zach Nichols penalty. Royals push it up and clear all the way down to Sagayak, who stops it with a stick. And back on it to claim it is Caleb Borowski, the goal scorer. Up ice, Borowski looking for Timothy Hollow. He can't control, and uh, but does a good job keeping the stick of the Royals defender engaged. The Royals do finally clear, and into the corner, Nick Humphrey pressuring. On the near side corner, Humphrey trying to dig it out. 28 seconds to go in the penalty time for Nichols. Caden Ballard also there, and Humphrey gets a shot. Sagayak has to push it down, leaves a rebound, but it's collected by Borowski. Borowski still being pressured by Humphrey. The Royals doing a good job on the penalty kill with 15 seconds left. Parma digging it out, and now the Royals have to get back on defense. Here comes the Redmen into the offensive zone. Nice job stick handling. Shot goes wide off the blade of Ignacio. To the far side corner with three seconds left. It's dumped down low, and the Redmen are on it once again with Phillips. Phillips, far side, Nichols out of the box, and the five on five. But getting back into the play late is David Siff. Shot fanned on by the Redmen. And it's uh, knocked out by CBCA, but pushed back in. Ballard tries to dig it out with David Siff on the near side boards right in front of us. And Ballard does finally get it. Pressured by Myers. Still stays with it and dumps it in deep for CBCA. 12.43 to go. Five on five now. Around the boards it goes. And... Dumps back in deep where Sif is on it. Sif circles, centers, gets it up high. Kept in by Mosher. Mosher tries to send it in further. It's knocked to the far side boards where Schwartzbeck, Jacob Schwartzbeck, tries to get it for CBCA. Cannot, and up it comes to the Redmen. Angled pass goes over the end line, off the boards, finds no one, and will result in an icing call with 12 minutes and 16 seconds to go, period number two. Royals one, Redmen one. Face-off will be in the Royals' offensive zone to the right of the junior goaltender, Andrew Sagayek. Lambline pushes it toward the goal. It's knocked down in front and sent out. Chasing it is Carter Martin. Martin skates behind his own net with some pressure, kicks it forward and gets back on it and pushes it up where it goes high, but not yet out. Knocked down and swept to the side by Lambline, who will control and... Push up, finds Luke Parada, who sends it in deep behind the goal. Parada chases, funny bounce off the boards, comes right to the center. Nick Humphrey tries to connect, he can't, but he gets it back to Lamline, who fires, it's knocked down, and Meyer sends it around the far side boards. Carter Martin pushes it in further, back to Luke Parada. Parada tried to send it back up to Martin, it got deflected, and now it comes up and Martin retreats as out come the Redmen with some speed into the offensive zone to the left. Dispossessed and into the corner was Borowski, but he centers into the slot, and then it's pushed back to the side, and Luke Parada comes out with it. Two on one for the Royals, but they hurry, but they, uh, Luke Parada into the left side. Parada skates and fires, shot, score by CBCA!
Nick Humphrey on the on the near side got a nice pass across by Parada. Had an open net, and Humphrey put it right in the back of the net behind Sagayak. The Royals take the lead, two to one. Time of the goal by Nick Humphrey. Three minutes and 49 seconds of the second period for Humphrey, the team leader in scoring. That's his ninth goal of the season, and for Parada on the assist. Fourth assist for the senior captain of CVCA, and the Royals are up 2-1. to one. Royals control off the faceoff. Ballard, far side, dumps it toward the goal of Sagayak. It's wide into the corner, but on it is Matthew Porter. Porter up high, intercepted by Steigmeier. Steigmeier loses it, but Mosher keeps it in. Shoots and saved by Sagayak. Kick to the far side boards where Ballard cycles it back down low. Steigmeier on it, behind the net. Still on his, team, on his stick. Steigmeier looking and surveying. Skates back in deep. Ballard picks it up as they cycle it back down low. Sharp angle shot is pushed aside again by Sagayak. And out come the Redmen. With it, Ignacio tries to center. It goes through the crease and the far side. Picked up by Pechke. Tries to send it up but lost it. And the Royals dangerously... Trying to control that puck, and finally Mosher is on it. Mosher takes a hit, but gets out of the zone, and it's collected by Phillips. Phillips back into the offensive zone. Backhand shot wide of Caleb Mosher. Phillips still skating hard, battling Mark Mosher. Now the Royals' Mosher gets helped by Ballard, and they kick it around the boards, but kept in on the far side point. Dumps back down low. Centering pass, looking for... Phillips, it's knocked down. Steigmeier has it down low now. Steigmeier sends it up the boards, but not out. Kept in at the right point. Skating in with some time. Shot knocked down off of Borowski. Second shot goes wide. Far side, Royals look a little bit tired and sluggish on this shift. Sent in and a save off the stick of Wessel. Second shot finally not yet covered. A huge pile of bodies in front of Mosher and... Steigmeier and one of the Redmen, might have been Timothy Hollow, pushing and shoving. Both players skate away, and the stoppage occurs with 9.19 to go here in the second period. Face-off will be to the right of Caleb Mosher. They drop it down. It's one back by CVCA. Eli Parada has it. Parada around the boards. And they cycle back down low, do the Royals. Pushing it up to Luke Parada. Parada finally gets it out off the boards. Angle pass for Humphrey, who got the last goal. He fires it high and wide of Sagayak. Carter Martin dumps it back in deep. But it's knocked out by the Redmen. And back on it is Eli Parada for the Royals. Eli pushes out of the zone. But it's a delayed offside as one of the Redmen, Barron, was knocked down and had to get up and clear the zone. So the Royals build it on out. Luke Parada has it. Parada up ice, looking for lamb line. He can't get to it, but Parada has it. And it's in. Offsides delayed against CBCA. So they clear the zone, and the Redmen come out. Barron pushes it in deep into the corner. Lamb line is on it. Lamb line to Parada. Luke. Luke now has it. Cycles it back down low, and Barron takes it away from him. Wessel, cross-ice to get a deep pass, looking for number 16, Borowski. He pokes it in further. Around the boards, behind the net, it comes once again. Royals defending, and poked up and out. Sent right back in, but the Redmen have to clear. That gives time for Eli Parada to collect it behind the net. Parada looking up, finds Lamb line. Lamb line into the offensive zone. Dangles. Gets in, sharp angle shot, pushed aside by Sagayak into the corner. Lamline lays the body, centering pass. It goes all the way across the ice, and Carter Martin is there. Martin takes a shot, fires wide on the near side, outward, collects it in the corner, outward, pokes it up. And uh oh, Martin misplays it. Breakaway chance for number 15. Back checking, and it goes wide. The Redmen could not finish. And we don't have a 15 on the roster for the Redmen. So, shot wide by Ignacio. 
Ignacio still skating with some speed. And the Royals clear the zone. Poke checked away. CBC across the ice pass looking for outward. And it's going to be too far for him. They wave off the icing. Royals get a change. And the Redmen build out with it. Loose puck picked up by CBC's lamb line with 6.35 to go in the period. Long pass connects with Luke Parada. Parada into the offensive zone. Fires wide of Sagayak. Nick Humphrey chases in. Humphrey, wraparound chance, couldn't finish. And it comes back to the Redmen. Through the neutral zone. Pushed back up by CBCA. Chopped down by Parada. Here comes Humphrey, breakaway chance. Humphrey off the backhand. Tries to get it, put it in. Sagayak with a nice job. Humphrey off the back of the net. Tries to flip it over off the back and try and... Get a fancy goal from behind the net. Couldn't get it in. It was knocked down by one of the hands of the Redmen. Now the Redmen in the offensive zone. Myers. Stick handles. Nice centering pass. It's knocked down in front off the stick and blade of Ignacio. Far side still controlled by Parma. They skate with some speed behind the net. Shot in by Borowski. It's knocked down. CBCA has it. Mosher. Mosher with it. And he sends it on the net. Actually, just wide of the net of Sagayak. And a stoppage at 5.31 for icing against CBCA. Royals 2. Redmen 1. Shots on goal at this point. 15 for the Royals, 11 for the Redmen, unofficially. They drop the puck down. Ballard tries to win it. Can't, but it's knocked out. And so the Redmen will have to clear, and they do. It's sent in by Ignacio around the boards. Carter Martin chips it up, but collected on the far side by Phillips. Knocked around the boards by CVCA. And out. Ignacio cross-ice looking for Wessel. Loses it, and now Steigmeier in. Steigmeier in the circles, skates in, shoots. Saved by Sagayek, and he covers. And some more pushing and shoving. Nice save right there by Sagayek. Victoria Wessel got in there and said to the Royals, get away from my goalie. And they did. Face off one back to Steigmeier. Tries to shoot. It's knocked down in front. He gets it back. Shoots. And another save by Sagayek. 4.54 to go. Second period. Royals 2. Redmen 1. Line change for CBCA. First team or first line. Offense back out there. It's one back but intercepted and controlled for the moment by the Redmen. Back checking, CBCA wins it, but has to collect it. It's set up, but not connected between Luke Parada and Lambline, but Lambline doing the dirty work, almost picked up a loose puck. At center ice, Eli Parada with a poke check, and he'll move up. Eli Parada through the neutral zone. Gains the zone, stops, skates across the blue line to his forehand. Still on his blade, and he dumps in, in deep into the corner, finds his brother Luke. Luke circles into the slot. Backhand shot. Doesn't make it to the goal. It's chipped up high into the rafters. And the low ceiling here at the Garfield Heights Dan Costell Rec Center, a stoppage and a faceoff in the offensive zone for CVCA when we resume with four minutes and seven seconds to go here in period number two. Morgan Joy sent out to take this face off for the Royals. It's won by the Redmen. Out of the zone, but controlled by Mark Mosher. He chips it up. Outward, gains the zone for the Royals. Sends it wide of Sagayek. Wessel on it. She's challenged by Morgan Joy for CBCA, and it chips up into the netting in the near side corner and another offensive zone face off. Actually, they'll take it out. I'll take it out of the zone. The face-off dot just outside the CBCA Royals 
offensive zone here in period number two. 3.52 to go, second period. Joy pushes it forward into the zone, chasing after it is Schwartzbeck. He dumps it in deep, and so having to chase it is Wessel. Wessel is on it. She's got it. Joy again challenges her and turns it over into the slot. Outward can't control and push forward just for a moment. It's loose and sent in back deep. Actually not. Intercepted. And out with it come the Redmen. Shot. High save, and then a second shot off the side of the net, off the blade of Borowski. Borowski in the corner, pushes it up, finds Myers. Myers, cross-ice pass, and shot deflected and saved by Caleb Mosher off the deflection. In the corner, Mark Mosher battles, battling with Barron. The Royals chip it up on the near side, outward, challenged by Myers. Down low it goes, and still controlled by the Redmen with three minutes to go here. To the left point, Wessel has it, dumps it back down deep. Finds Myers. Myers centering pass. It's loose in front and slips just to the side of Mosher. Up but kept in on the far side. Knockdown is still in. Second shot is knocked down and into the corner. Petschke controls for a moment but falls down and Myers picks up the puck in the far side corner with 2.40 to go. It slips up and there. Schwartzbeck has it. Schwartzbeck cross ice but intercepted. Shot from the point. Deflected and still loose. Backhand shot. Saved by Mosher. And the Royals control. Big save by Kaylee Mosher and a trip at center ice. The Royals are going to go on the power play, but still loose. And in the corner, knocked down and finally touched up by Wessel. Tripping and the first power play of the night for CVCA. As into the box for the Redmen goes number 16, Caleb Borowski on the trip. Power play opportunity for CVCA with two minutes and 20 seconds to go in the Period number two. Face off to the right of Sagayak. Lamline. And Myers. It's won by CDJ's Luke Parada. He skates right in, shoots off the post. Parada got iron. Lamline has it, leaves it for Eli Parada. Eli, cross ice pass. Skating in a shot, deflected in front and saved by Sagayak. What a great chance right there by Luke Parada, who off the faceoff skated right in and got the post to the left of Sagayak. So a minute 46 still left on the power play. Faceoff again to Sagayak's right. Again, Parada skates in. He wins it, gets it back to Martin, who keeps it in. No, he loses the zone and offsides on CVCA, and they'll take it right out for the minute 38. Royals win the faceoff. It's back to center ice. They'll have to gain the zone. Humphrey evades one. And then to the near side, battles for the puck. Challenged by Kyle Phillips. It's knocked up but not out. Lamline has it. Cross ice pass. Shot and wide. It'll come to Lamline once again. He skates behind the net. Lamline has Nick Humphrey camping out in front. Cycles it back down low to Luke Parada, who's leveled. Lamline picks up the puck and Parada gets back up. In the corner, a minute 10 to go. Lamline. Back to Parada behind the goal. He skates and looks. Will cycle back down low, looking. Parada leaves it for Lamline. Lamline on the near side boards. Pass the point. Shot. Tries to knock it down in front. Deflected. Lamline gets the rebound. Shoots wide. Carter Martin has it with 52 seconds left, and he keeps it in. Martin dumps it back down low, looking for Luke Parada. Gets behind him. Humphrey tries to battle for it in the corner. It's chipped up and controlled by the Redmen and finally cleared by Parma. 39 seconds at first on it is Kyle Phillips in the corner on the near side. Eli Parada will give chase and battle. Lamline and Steigmeier and Stiff four on one trying to dislodge the puck with 44 seconds to go in the period, 24 in the power play. A great job being done and finally CBCA's Lamline digs it out. 17 seconds to go on the penalty time, 35 in the period and Lamline pushes it up but it's intercepted by Martin. Martin just waits and fires it back in deep. And nine seconds left, and that'll just about do it on the penalty time. Eli Parada pushes it up, but loses it to a teammate. And up into the rafters, or not the rafters, rather, into the netting. It goes for a stoppage with one second to go on the penalty time to Caleb Borowski. The Royals with that great shot early on by Luke Parada. Hit the left side pipe. 
Not much more after that to show for that penalty. 20 seconds to go in period number two. They drop the puck and the penalty time is up. Royals control the faceoff and chip it out to center ice with 15 seconds left. It's dumped back in. Petschke up ice. Cord Stogmar dumps it in for CVCA into the corner with seven seconds left. Wessels on it, pushes it up, can't keep it in, and out come the Redmen. One second left, and that's going to do it. The horn sounds, and the Royals will go to the locker room with a 2-1 to one lead as we've reached the end of 30 minutes of hockey here at the Dan Costell Rec Center. Royals 2, Redmen 1. Fifteen to three, the shots on goal in that second period in favor of the Royals, and so we head to the second intermission again with a two to one lead for CVCA. And as we do, we'll pause for this message from CVCA President Jason Spodnik, and we'd ask for your attention. Thank you for being a part of CVCA community. I love the chance to come to you with exciting news. And I've got some really exciting news. Three words. The first word, we are growing. The Lord has blessed and bringing people like you here to the school because we believe in the mission of educating and cultivating servants for Christ. But when we grow, we run into some problems because we need more space. Whether it's in the middle school or in the high school, we are growing and we thank the Lord and you for that. The second word, finishing. A few years ago, we started a campaign called Excel Still More, and now it is time to finish Excel Still More. So when you look at the link below and some of the detailed information, you will find some exciting expansion in the area where I am now, in the area just outside of these doors. But even more exciting to me personally is the third word, celebrating and honoring. While we have these expansion and growth opportunities here, we have the opportunity to be able to celebrate a champion of CVCA. John Rasnick was a friend to thousands in the CVCA community. Me personally, but decades of people have been impacted by John Rasnick and his love for the Lord and his word. This gives us the opportunity to tell his story to generations of what God can do if you humbly serve and say yes when he calls you. So take a look at the information below, take a look at the information on our website and find out more about this exciting opportunity. We love you. An inspiring message from CVCA President Jason Spodnik regarding the finishing Excel Still More campaign. And CVCA's goal is now to complete the final phase of this campaign, finishing Excel Still More, and to accommodate growth and create a more welcoming environment. CVCA will add space to connect the Antel Chapel and the Tim Barley Gymnasium, increasing capacity for visitors and students by 300. CVCA is incredibly excited to celebrate and honor our great friend John Rasnick. And while we're pleased to recognize the immense contribution that John had on the CVCA community, we're even more humbled to celebrate the powerful example of what God can do when you passionately follow him and lead by loving and serving others as John did so consistently. So to honor John and to celebrate what the Lord has done through his life of service, CVCA has chosen to name our, two, our new two-story glass atrium and welcome center, the John F. Rasnick Center. Construction of the beautiful facility and renovation of the Antel Chapel is set to begin in the first quarter of 2022. Let's hope that this center will serve as a physical reminder that we are all called to live lives of selflessness, action, love, care, and intentionality toward making a gospel impact like our friend John Rasnick. Can't wait to tell his life story to all who ask. This building provides tribute to how God could powerfully use redeemed but imperfect people like us to carry the good news forward in our world. Just as John was welcoming and a friend to all, we believe this new space will reflect that same welcoming and loving spirit that was uniquely him. John's impact was profound, and it's fitting that we dedicate this space to a man who many of us knew and loved. John will be greatly missed, but his influence and loving service will echo for generations in the countless lives that he touched. John Rasnick's life inspires still to this day, and we all stand on the shoulders of champions of faith that have gone before us. 
So let us celebrate the, what the Lord has done as we memorialize the life committed to following him and let us celebrate what God will do for his kingdom in this new space for CVCA. So therefore, at this moment, we're asking every member of the CVCA community, alumni, parents, grandparents, and friends to take part in finishing Excel Still More with a generous contribution and commitment today. Your partnership will enable us to complete these needed facility upgrades and additions debt-free and enhance the experience of students, faculty, and visitors today and for many decades to come. Commitments to finishing Excel Still More can be paid over time through the end of 2024. That's three years from now. So please go to cvcaroyals.org forward slash finishing Excel Still More. Once again, that website is cvcaroyals.org forward slash finishing Excel Still More for additional information. Thank you for prayerfully considering this unique opportunity. We are at the second intermission on a Sunday night of a Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Blue North Division matchup between CVCA and Parma, and the Royals lead at the second intermission by a score of 2-1. to one. Goal in the second period, or goals, just one of them. 349 of the second period, the Royals with a nice goal by number 15, Nick Humphrey. For Humphrey, that was his ninth goal of the season, the assist to, uh, rather to Luke Parada, his fourth assist of the season. Humphrey from Parada at 349 gave the Royals a 2-1 lead. That stood up, and that's where we stand at the end of two periods. 15 minutes to go, and we'll see if the Royals can pick up a much-needed Greater Cleveland High Hockey League, Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League, that is, Blue North Division victory tonight, or will the Redmen be able to come back and go to 7-2 in the division? Redmen already back on their bench, so they are ready to go. Royals still in the locker room with 3 minutes and 35 seconds to go, and the Zamboni still on the ice here at the Dan Costell Rec Center in Garfield Heights, Ohio. Looking at action around the Blue North Division today, Chagrin Falls was scheduled to play at Canfield, but that game was canceled. And then NDCL and Normandy were supposed to skate at 3 o'clock. No word on that contest. As of this time, no report on Twitter, etc. So Andy Sale and Normandy. Normandy looking to rebound after the loss, their first of the season, on Thursday night to the Whitmer Panthers here in the championship game of the CVCA Christmas Tournament. Elsewhere at CVCA, and this past week in Royals Athletics, Boys basketball had two games. They were victorious in a conference matchup on Tuesday night last week, a 74-47 victory against the Manchester Panthers. And then they went on the road on Thursday and played at Shaw in East Cleveland in a non-conference matchup against the a ranked team. Shaw, I believe, number 19 in Northeast Ohio. And the Royals victorious on the road, 54-51 against Shaw on Thursday night. Girls basketball had one game this week, this past week. That game was a 49-12 victory at home against Orville in conference. They've got a huge game this coming week against the Northwest Indians at home. The Royals looking to avenge a loss earlier this season to Northwest. CVCA and Northwest, the cream of the crop in the Pac-7 conference the last couple of years. And so a big game Wednesday night at home at the Tim Barley Memorial Gymnasium. Wrestling competed in the Ashland Invitational on Thursday, and the Royals had three grapplers place. In the 106-pound division, Owen Nelson finished in third place at 113 pounds. Braden Halen took down a fourth-place finish, and Kyle Snyder remained undefeated to anyone from the state of Ohio in the last two seasons at the 215-pound level. First place on Thursday for Kyle Snyder. Swim teams were in action on Thursday at the Cloverleaf Stampede Invitational down in Worcester. Boys pulled out a sixth-place finish out of 25 teams, and the girls 
finished ninth out of 25 on Thursday down in Worcester. Once again, you're watching CVCA Royals Hockey, and we are nearing the end of the second intermission period. My name is Tim Nichols. Always a pleasure to have you with us here watching Royals Hockey. Uh, and we, I am ably assisted by Sean Mosher, Cody Anderson, and JT Nichols giving you all the action and the replays and the graphics here from the Dan Costell Rec Center for all CVCA home games. Our next broadcast will be next Saturday night, 5 o'clock, here at the Garfield Heights Rec Center when the Royals host Canfield Cardinals and see them for the first time this season. The Royals also in action Wednesday, uh, rather Friday and Sunday next week on the road at Cleveland Heights Friday and Sunday at Chagrin Falls. Clock is wound down, and we are ready to go for third period action now. Royals with a 2-1 to one lead. And they'll skate right to left. Redmen left to right. Whistle blows, and we're ready for the final 15 minutes on Sunday night. They drop the puck, and it's controlled by the Redmen and pushed in deep on Caleb Mosher. Mosher jumps down on it, and Josh Petschke has it for CVCA. Petschke skates behind the net, loses the puck for a moment, but it comes up to Luke Parada. Redmen keep the zone, but Parada has it once again on his stick, gets it up ice and founds Lamline, who dumps it in deep for CVCA. Into the corner, and pushed up the boards and controlled by number 12, Nolan Sandy. Haven't called Sandy's name for some time. Ryan Myers also haven't called his name in a while. Dumps it in deep, and Mark Mosher skates in on it for CVCA. Sandy, with pressure, dispossesses him for a moment, but Jack Lamline sweeps up the puck. Lamline has it. Cross-ice pass, looking for Nick Humphrey. Slowly, it comes across the ice, and Humphrey gets it back to Luke Parada. Parada skates in, fires, and saved by Sagayak. Right back to Parada, and Myers gives chase, but Parada has it poke-checked away. Myers centers it and outlets it. Up ice it comes. Borowski, this goal scorer. Long shot. Pushed aside by Caleb Mosher. Up to my uh, up to Jack Lamline. And Lamline fires it into the penalty box and taking a dive right there is uh, whoever's in the penalty box tonight. No harm, no foul, supposedly. So uh, stoppage at 13.49 to go. First period. Face off in the offensive zone for the Redmen. One back to the Royals. Pushed around the boards, but not far. Martin sweeps it to the near side boards. Sif lifts a stick, and he gets it to Eli Parada. Parada skates out to center ice, and it's poked away. Sif has it, chips it forward, intercepted by Allison Callahan. She skates it in, dumps it in deep. Ballard. Sends it around the boards, and with it for a second with Steigmeier, he gets a stick and pushes it up to Sif. Sif had the first goal tonight. Sif dumps it in on Sagayek, who drops down and covers a stoppage with 13.15 to go. Early third period action, Royals with a one-goal lead. Sif and Humphrey for CVCA, the goal scorers. Borowski for the Redmen. Face off to the left of Sagayek. One by the Redmen, but chipped at it and it's taken away by Lamline. But Lamline can't control. Zach Nichols is out. Nichols gets it a long pass to Humphrey. Humphrey skates in. He's going to get right in on Sagayek, but he's pushed off before he can get there by Borowski. Humphrey tries to center. Gets it back once again. Humphrey, shot on Sagai. Gets loose in front and covered. Another save for Andrew Sagayek. And he'll see a face-off to his right. 12.53 to go. Morgan Joy takes the draw for CBC as she comes in. She wins it back, but it's controlled by the Redmen. With it and some speed is Ignacio. He skates in and is swept aside by Mark Mosher. Mosher chips it up and out of the zone. 
And they wave off the icing. So back on it is Borowski. And a whistle. Oh, we've got a player down for CBCA behind the goal, and that player is Zach Nichols. We did not see what happened. And Nichols in a great deal of pain behind the goal. Seems to be favoring a left shoulder. Zach Nichols bent over, and he'll skate off, but he's definitely in a great deal of pain as he makes his way to the bench. Nichols has been a starter all season and last season as well for CBCA on defense. And he'll get looked at by the trainer on the far side. So as Nichols gets treatment on the, on the far side, the Royals will restart with 12.35 to go. The puck is controlled by the Royals and sent in by Luke Parada. He skates it in a second time after it was cleared out and the Redmen clear it out again. Eli Parada controls and dumps it in deep. It's off the referee and then swept back and controlled by the Redmen. Lambline dispossesses number 19, Ignacio. Cross-ice pass looking for Martin. He wasn't expecting it and so he chips it back in. The Royals have to get onside and Ignacio has it. He dumps it in behind the boards. And chasing forward is Eli Parada. But Parada is bumped into by Nolan Sandy. The Royals dig it out and come out with it. With some speed is Lambline. Across center ice, back checked, and it's poked into the far side corner where Lambline is first to it. Lambline around the boards, finds a Parma red man, that is Myers. And it's chipped up and out where Eli Parada will have to chase. Parada, cross ice, across the boards, finds a teammate. Up ice it goes, that teammate was Carter Martin, but uh, the Redmen push the puck deep into their own zone. Wessel dumps it up, but not out. Kept in by Steigmeier. Sharp angle shot is high and over the goal of Sagayek. Royals, Martin tries to send a, shot, send a shot in, but he fanned on it, and then it's down the other end of the ice. Martin back on it. Into the corner. Martin leveled and taken out of the play. And he is also down. So the second defenseman for CBCA down in a matter of minutes. Martin slow to get up. Finally gets up. Meanwhile, puck is uh, loose and controlled in the offensive zone. Myers. Poke checked away by Steigmeier. Loses it and the Redmen will have to clear the zone. Delayed offside as Myers sends it in deep. On it is Martin who gets back up. Martin. Turns it over. The Royals. Caleb Mosher gloves down a shot from the far side and a stoppage with 10.27 to go here in the third period. Royals 2 and Redmen 1. Face off to the right of Caleb Mosher. One back to CVCA. Mosher to Parada to Lamline. Lamline into the offensive zone. Gets it knocked away and sent back out through the neutral zone. They wave off the icing and Mark Mosher back to get on it for CVCA. Mosher has it chipped up into the rafters and then down into the netting with 10.05 to go. Face off outside the Royal zone. Defensive zone, that is. It's chipped up and sent back in. Mosher, long pass right on. Not a pass, a shot from the other end of the ice. Right in on Sagayek, and he makes the save. Now the Redmen will try and build out. Morgan Joy intercepts and dumps it in deep. Nice job by her. Wessel pushed it up on the far side boards. Up to the slot to CVCA. Shot, rebound. Outward, couldn't control. Allison Callahan has it. Callahan skates to the near side, being pestered by Outward and Morgan Joy. Schwartzbeck is there. Schwartzbeck battles with Kyle Phillips. 
Phillips wins the battle and heads up ice. Phillips off the near side boards, dumps it in deep. Mark Mosher gives chase. Mosher to it first. With wheels comes Mosher, and he's into the offensive zone. One on four, shot, glove down, but a rebound, juicy there. And a second shot, actually not a shot. Mosher went behind the net. And finally met up with one of the Redmen who dumps it out. The Royals dump it back in, and a blocker save by Sagayak with 8.57 to go. Luke Parada is there for CBCA, dumps it in deep. Now gets it back and tries to poke it in, and it's swept out of harm's way, at least for the moment. The Royals still have it, though, in the zone, and then the Redmen clear. Lamb line chases. They wave off the icing. Lamb line stick handles to himself. Cross ice pass finds Humphrey. Humphrey into the offensive zone. Takes a body from number 16, Borowski. Behind the boards it goes. 8.25 to go. Royals 2, Redmen 1. Redmen push it around to the near side. On it is number 10, Zerny. Zerny dispossessed by Lamline. Lamline in the corner. Now he gets greeted by Borowski as well. Sends it up and the Royals... Humphrey digs it out. And then it's loose once again. And cleared out of the zone. Into the offensive zone comes Parma. Michael Otto. Otto sends it behind the net. Sharp angled shot attempt is missed and uh, fanning. Fanned on it is one of the red men. It's loose into the corner. And after it is number 10, Zerny. Zerny tries the center. It's poked up and intercepted by CBCA. There they come, the Royals. Lamline tries to leave it, but no one coming behind him. Seven and a half to go. Halfway through the third period. Lamline intercepts at center ice, but it's taken away from him. And he battles. Falls down. And it's dumped out. Martin. Loses it to, Mar uh, to Myers. Myers can't control, and Martin skates to the far side boards. He's got a little bit of time. Cross ice pass. Finds Parada. Eli chips it back. Loses his stick. It goes behind the boards where David Siff is on it. Siff chips it up, looking for Cord Steigmeyer. Steigmeyer has it. Can he get to it? No, it gets in to Sagayek, and Steigmeyer barely avoids him and ends up in the back of the net. 7.02 to go in a one-goal game. Face off in the Royals' offensive zone as Sagayek pulls the goal back onto its moorings. Face off to his left. One back by CBCA to the point. Mosher has it. He fires in and kicked aside by the stick of Sagayek. CBCA's Ballard keeps it in. Ballard skates, centers, nobody there. Sent up and cleared out by number 12, Sandy. Sandy finds Myers, but it gets by him and all the way to the goal where Caleb Mosher pushes it aside. Near side corner, Josh Petschke and Myers battle for it. Petschke gets it across, but a funny bounce. It still comes to Court Steigmeyer, lucky for CBCA, into the offensive zone. Siff stops. Finds a nice pass to Steigmeyer, who has it. Siff distributes very, very well. But the Royals couldn't convert it. Here is Myers. He is knocked off the puck. Ballard chips it up off the boards and out of harm's way to center ice. Intercepted by Steigmeyer. One-on-one -on -one shot chipped aside by number 16, Borowski. Another shot hits Iron. Third shot. Gloved down by Sagayek off of Luke Parada's stick. Parada up high. Mosher fires. It's knocked into the corner. 5.50 to go. Royals 2. Parma 1. And offsides. The call as Jack Lamline couldn't keep the blue line. And a stoppage with 5.46 to go in the third period. The Royals clinging to a one-goal lead. 2-1 to one here on a Sunday evening from the Dan Costo Rec Center in Garfield Heights, Ohio. Face off just outside the Royal zone. Controlled by the Redmen. With it, Ignacio. Battle and off, moved off the puck by Luke Parada. The Royals control. Lammy, Lamline, stops at center ice. And he's dispossessed for a moment. And pushed in by Parma, number nine, 
Sig uh, number nine, Barron, rather. Almost said Sigayek. Redmond lose the zone, but they get right back in. Allison Callahan, far side board, skates behind the net. Callahan, with some speed, looks to the high point, finds Borowski, D to D. Shot coming in, deflected into the corner. Eli Parada and Barron. Now, Ignacio pushes it in deep further. Barron goes back after it, sends it behind the boards. Royals, Parada into the corner. Barron, twice his size, but Parada trying to battle it out. Eli is. It's poked behind the net, and Martin has it. Martin sends it up and out where Borowski's on it at center ice. Long shot wide of Caleb Mosher. He swipes it right back into the boards with 4.33 to go. Royals get a change. Nick Humphrey. Humphrey into the offensive zone. Kept in by Ballard. Tries to find Humphrey. It goes behind the net. Outward. Wins the battle for the puck. Outward. Tries to center. It's knocked to the near side boards. It comes to Martin. Passes to Ballard. Ballard shoots. It's knocked down in front by Myers. Myers skates out with it. Myers, always dangerous. Cross ice pass to number 17, Hollow, and offsides the call against the Redmen with 4.08 to go here in the third period. Update on Zach Nichols. Looks like he is in a sling on the left arm, so he's done for the night. And that's not a good sign. Another big hit and a penalty coming. And punching. Caden Ballard in it. 3.59 to go. Right in front of the Royals bench. And the Redmen have taken a penalty. Number 17, Timothy Hollow with a hit. And Caden Ballard's also going to go. So simultaneous penalties. And a third Redmen at the door. That's Myers. And so the Redmen are going to pick up two penalties. The Royals won here. And we'll wait for the calls. All the penalties at 3.59 to go. So the first penalty looked like it might have been a cross check. And that one, I think, was against... Well, we'll wait for the calls. First one against uh, Ryan Myers goes up on the board. He may have been the cross check. So Ryan Myers gets called for a roughing penalty. The other two penalties are, co are coincidental minors. And the Royals will end up on the power play for two minutes. And it'll be a five-on-four power play for CVCA. So less than uh, four minutes to go, 3.59 to be exact, the Royals with a chance to hope and if in their case, hopefully to uh, put a little bit of a margin in between themselves and Parma as the game has remained a one-goal game since the 3.59 mark of the second period. Royals send Jack Lamline out to take the faceoff. It's one back to CBCA, but right between the two defensemen, Eli Parada and Carter Martin. Parada up ice, finds his brother Luke. Luke with it, skates through the neutral zone and finds the offensive zone. It's knocked away and dispossessed. With it is Borowski with some speed. Borowski behind his own net, looking to center. Goes around for a potential, well, we'll see what he is. He's going to lose the puck. It's shipped up, but no one in particular. The Royals not looking, and fortunately for them, Eli Parado was. He knocked it down in front. Cross ice now. The Royals try and build out. Humphrey sends it in deep. It's 115 to go, and we've got a cross-check penalty. The door is open once again, and another penalty taken, this time by number 11, Kyle Phillips, with 314 to go. And so the Royals will go up on a 5-on-3 power play for the next 115, and they'll still have another 5-on-4 for 45 seconds. And so Parma will be defending... A penalty kill until 1 minute and 14 seconds left in the game. That penalty for cross-checking to Kyle Phillips.
Five on three for CVCA. Lamb line out there with Humphrey. Face off is dropped down and one back by Parma, and they clear the zone. Eli Parada could not keep it in to the Royals. Luke Parada has it. He sends it in deep, and the Royals will chase it. David Siff on the far side. It's controlled, though, by Ignacio. Ignacio finds Siff and Lamline as company behind the net. 55 seconds to go on the five on three. The team's battle. It's knocked in front. Luke Parada gets dumped. Check that. It's Humphrey. Humphrey leans down, and the Redmen come out. Two on two with a break. Shot. Long shot. Tips up and it's wide. Luke Parada chasing, but he doesn't get to it first. But the Redmen, without numbers, lose the puck. Actually, they gain it right back. Short-handed shot by Borowski. is sent in deep, and the Royals, with 30 seconds left in this five-on-three, 2.26 to go in the game. Royals two, Redmen one. Up ice it comes. The Royals gain the zone. Humphrey now goes to his corner. Humphrey shoots and is knocked aside by Sagayek. And the Redmen get an opportunity to clear, and they do. The Royals taking a shoot-first mentality instead of trying to set up a five-on-three offense, and it's hurt them. Five seconds to go, and they almost turn it over. They do, but Lamline gets it back. And then one penalty up. The Redmen return one to the ice. Here comes Lamline. He shoots wide of the net. 40 seconds to go on the on the five-on-four power play for CBCA. Humphrey loses the puck, and it's cleared down with 30 seconds to go. A minute 44 to go in the game. Royals two, Redmen one. 26 seconds left in the penalty time now. Mark Mosher's out there. Mosher skates up and dumps it up, but no one there for the Royals. And the Redmen with Myers. Two and is dispossessed. Oh, a good chance there. Still 15 seconds left. Cord Steigmeier. Steigmeier loses the zone and knocked off. Here comes the Redmen once again. Myers has it. Eight seconds left. It's intercepted by Steigmeier. Steigmeier skates in. Shoots wide of the goal. Two seconds left. And now back to even strength with a minute and 13 seconds to go in the game. Delayed offside against CBC with a minute eight to go. Royals two, Redmen one. It's pushed up, intercepted by Siff. Siff banks it off the boards, looking for a teammate. Couldn't find one. And into the offensive zone goes Phillips. Phillips into the corner and behind the net. Mosher, there to meet him. Shot centered. A wide shot of the goal. 50 seconds left. CVCA has possession of the puck. They clear it up and they clear the zone. Long pass to Steigmeier. It's in the defensive zone of the Redmen. Cleared out by Wessel. Sagaik still in the goal. The Redmen gain the zone. Sagaik still in the goal. Ridden off the puck is Phillips. On the far side board, 32 seconds left. The Redmen controlling. Shot on Mosher is kicked aside. This one's put out in front. It comes to Schwartzbeck. Schwartzbeck has it. Cross ice. It's knocked down. And then cleared out by CVCA. And they wave off icing with 17 seconds left. Welfs is on it. 14 seconds left. Maybe time for one more rush for the Redmen. Around the board, she sends it. 10 seconds left. And a huge hit by Lamline. Up the ice it comes. Penalty coming against Jack Lamline. A trip against Lamline. And so five seconds left. Jack Lamline takes a penalty. And the Redmen will have an offensive zone faceoff and likely pull the goaltender six on four with five seconds to go. The Royals with an opportunity, but they're going to have to win this game on a penalty kill. Lamb line in for tripping and timeout called by head coach Joe Gaudino. One more chance for the Redmen. Shots on goal for the Royals, 26 for the Redmen, 18. The Royals five seconds away from their third Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Blue North Division victory of the season and away from evening the record once again at 7-7. Seven and seven. The Redmen looking for the equalizer here. For Lamline, that's his third penalty of the day. And one you just can't take with five seconds left in the game. So the Royals send out Luke Parada. Nick Humphrey, Mark Mosher, and it looks like Eli Parada. Myers will take the face off. Behind him is Borowski and Wessel. 
They drop the puck down. It's pushed toward the goal. Second shot is knocked down in front. Time running out. Fine for one shot. And there's the goal, the horn. And the score is a final. The Royals victorious tonight. Final score, CVCA 2 and Parma 1 in a fantastic hockey game on a Sunday night from the Dan Costell Rec Center. The Royals' record increases to 7-7, seven and seven, back to 500 for CVCA, and the Redmen fall to 13-4. and four.